this is uh, for some reason it's not playing now <laughs> but um, this is a video Um, that was a video, ladies and gentlemen, of a Black Lives Matter protest in Brisbane yesterday where people, were, most of them are probably on welfare provided by the Australian taxpayers of the country they hate so much. Uh, they're able to go down to uh, Brisbane City Centre uh, for a Black Lives Matter protest uh, breaking um, I hate this word but I have to use it in this context breaking social uh, distancing rules that the rest of us have to follow of course they don't get fined but if you're fishing with a friend and you're too close together you get a $1,500 fine um and of course they don't get fined and they're the ones that cause all the outbreaks again which force us to be in lockdowns even longer despite um, regardless of whether you think the um, pandemic is a hoax or not and most of you know my opinion on that the point is Polly asked in her last video whether this torture whether this is torture or not and I agree, yes, it's torture, and I stated some reasons why I believe it's torture down below in the comments. But and she, Polly stated a, a number of reasons. But I want to give you another reason why this is torture. Uh, Law-abiding citizens who are trying to do the right thing, regardless of whether they believe um, the so-called pandemic, or as I call it, um, pandemic I mean, or as I call it, pandemic, the COVID hoax. Uh, so many law-abiding citizens who are trying to do the right thing um, get harassed, get fined for minor infractions, get locked up in their homes, but these people who have no respect for the country, no respect for our values, get provided welfare by the Australian taxpayers. 80% of Australian tax goes on welfare for most of these fuckwits. And I'm sorry, I have to swear, I can't be as calm and as calculated as my friend uh, Polly. We're different people. I, I get too angry with this bullshit. Anyway... You know, they get provided welfare, they get provided food, they get provided housing commission houses by the Australian taxpayers, by the Australian government, yet they turn up to these protests breaking all the rules that we have to follow. The police don't find, they don't get fined, and we suffer the consequences. It's rules for thee, but not for me. I... I it's another form of torture. How law-abiding citizens have to stand by and watch these anarchists not get fined, not get punished, and yet, do you do you want to know what the police would do? You want to know what the police in Brisbane were doing while this was going on? I'll tell you, they were finding and reviewing footage, making sure that men in strip clubs weren't getting lap dances. And, you know, the women weren't getting too close to them. That's what we're spending our fucking taxpayer resources on. Making sure that men don't violate the rules in fucking strip clubs. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is prolonged torture. Designed to demoralise us. Designed to make us give in. 
designed to make us uh, see that there are uh, two different segments. It's pre-planned. The New World Order and the Elites up here. And us down there. Well, I won't stand for it. Neither will you. Most of you. And ladies and gentlemen. People who burn the Australian flag. Who spit on it. Who spit on our values. Should not, One should be not getting welfare. And two. We should be giving them an option to fly to one of those countries they love so much. Be it China be it North Korea, be it Venezuela, whatever, all right? If, say, if you don't want to accept our values, you, you're, not, you're not getting our welfare and you have to leave this country. Something tells me they'd change their tune. A government just has, the, has to have the balls to do it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I made my point. That is all.